Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm excited because I wasn't planning on doing this video. I wasn't planning on doing a video on my jewelry unpacking at all. However, I decided I'm going to go ahead and do one um, just for any of y'all who have been interested in the past about selling jewelry. I will let you know where I get my jewelry. It's all new with tags. Some of it is in packaging. Um, that's sealed and some of it is in packaging that you can open, but it's all brand new with tags. Uh, well, it's not with tags, it's in packaging. Anyway, you get the point. Um, and I've sold so many of these pieces. I've been selling these for about a year and a half now from the same company. And, oh, excuse me, it's going really well. Now, I got this idea from another, another gal that I was doing some research with and getting some um, some training from about a year and a half ago when I kind of decided to start in with jewelry. So I got the um, I got the idea from her and I kind of took the, the listing price bracket from what she was doing. Now, I'm going to be kind of tweaking that a little bit because when she was doing hers, she didn't charge shipping. So she kind of bumped up her price when she was doing her listings to include shipping so that when she did free shipping, it included the shipping fees. Um, I have still sold a lot of pieces at that price bracket, even though I don't um, do free shipping. However, I am wanting to do more sales in jewelry. So I'm going to be bringing my price bracket down a little bit. And um, I'm going to be selling some of these on whatnot. I am going to try and get my whatnot up and going better. Um, I will kind of go into that later. I'm not going to really get going to that right now because this is a jewelry unpacking. But my intention, because my cog on these is so low, is to sell some of these on whatnot as well. My goal is to be selling more items on a daily basis. Um, so our goal is to at least double what our cog is on anything that we sell minimum. It is super easy to do that with jewelry and with my denim unboxings that I get from ThreadUp. But let's dive into this. Again, keep in mind, all of this is brand new. None of it is used at all. I do source this online and um, I do pay shipping. Now the shipping can be about $20 to do shipping because it is out of the country, but I'm okay with that. Because when I do my research on when I'm picking and sourcing my items, um, my cog is very low, like low. So um, I'm not spending like $5 a piece or anything like that. It's super low. If you all would like me to do a video on how I source my jewelry, what my cog is, and all that, how I incorporate that, just to let you know, including shipping, each of these pieces, when I list them, my cog is going to be $1.38. I typically average between $1.38 and no more than $1.50, including shipping, per piece for my jewelry. So even if I sell it for $10 or $15, I'm making really great profit on these pieces. A lot of these pieces, however, do sell for $20 to $25. Some people just purchase them outright on my listings. Um, I have them up for between $20 to $25. And so I do make really good profit on these pieces. So I thought again... Now there's a part made for the wrinkling. Let me open this up. It's in a package like this. It actually comes FedEx and it comes in a bubble wrap. I already cut that open. Pardon me, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up a little bit. I apologize for the noise. It is kind of loud. So it's in this packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out so we can kind of dive in. Again, they're individually packaged and see what I got here. Now, for example, let me show you this here. This particular piece, let me show you, is this multicolored, it's kind of like a beaded piece. Now, when I'm picking items for jewelry, um, I, I've gone anywhere from earrings to necklaces to rings to, to bracelets, things like that. And I try to get a variety of different types, whether it's elegant, fun, playful, animals, um, floral hearts. I try to get a nice little variety for all different kinds of people who have different tastes. Um, this particular one is multicolored beaded and as you can see um, I will take this and let me see here. Yeah, it's 
Okay, so this, oh, I see. It's in a separate package again. So this particular package, I could open if I wanted to. So, like, for example, because I'm going to be, um, I typically just take the screenshots from the company that I buy from. However, I have noticed in the past that some of the screenshots are blurry, unfortunately. Um, so I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to kind of test it, especially since I'm going to be putting some of these on whatnot. I am going to go and take them out of the packaging, but in the listing, we'll let them know it is new with tags, opened for photography. Just to let them know it's still brand new, opened for photographs, okay? But this particular package, you can actually open and reseal this package. I'm not going to do that right now. But I am going to show you, it's just a cute little beaded piece because this one's a pretty simple piece to see kind of what it is. Let me back it up a little bit. I know it's probably kind of hard to see it because it'll fall behind. Let me do that. Hope you can see it through that. Just a simple, cute piece. <clears throat> I, sorry, my, my throat's been a little bit dry. I've been battling a tiny sore throat. Nothing much. But every once in a while, I just kind of get this little tickle in my throat. So I'm still taking my supplements for, for the cold season. Um, okay, these are cute. Uh, again, this is one of those packages that I could open. I'm not going to right now. Now, this is one of those that I might open it because there's going to be a glare. If I'm doing photographs, I may do my own photographs. First of all, again, I don't want it to be blurry in the picture. And second of all, I want to be able to show these um, really well when I'm doing um, my um, auction, my live auctions on whatnot. But again, if I'm taking a photograph of this and not using the stock photo from the company, I don't want there to be glare on the photograph. So these I might still take out. They're still on their stock card, but they're cute little hearts with some like this the gold trimming on it. So there's that piece. So I'm just kind of sharing with you how I'm going to do it this time a little bit different. Um, I have 57 pieces here. I don't know yet if I'm going to go through all 57 or not. Now see for this one, it's a seal package, so if I open this, I'm actually tearing the seal, but it is resealable up top here. And this is, um, let me go ahead and open this one, because I am going to take it out and photograph it. I actually have a, a, like a black neck stand that I purchased to display these to photograph them, so I'm excited about that. So I am going to be taking these out, so I will go ahead and take this out. I just kind of show you a little bit of what we have here. I am trying to be careful because this um, chain is a little bit delicate and I don't want to hurt the chain um, and it's kind of kinked. But let me show you, this is just a pretty piece. One of the things I like about jewelry, I sold quite a bit of jewelry for the holidays last year. I had men buying for their wives. I had women buying for, their, for themselves, for gifts. For them um, for Valentine's Day different things like that so this is just a cute oval chain just something a little bit different it's got kind of a simple twisted chain to it I don't know if you can see that very well you need, uh, sorry hold it still there for you so anyway that's one of the pieces again I'll just put it back in the packaging this will go on my next stand that I purchased to display jewelry for photographing I'm not going to go through and put it on there right now for y'all because I don't want to take up too much of your time. It would take time to display it, kind of sort it out and get it arranged and everything. And I don't really want to take up too much of your time today. Okay, this is another one. Um, this one is, again, in a sealed piece. This is obviously a long chain. I can tell that it's got some studding on it. Um, because I'm going to be photographing it and you can seal this piece. One of the things I like about these packages, some of these you can still seal them. So that's pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and take this one out. And I will show you and some of these. You really kind of have to get your fingernail in there. And okay, now the nice thing about this one too is it has... This one... Oh, there we go. It's sometimes it's kind of hard to tell because of the way it sits in the packaging, how it's looking. And this one's just kind of bunched up. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That's a little bit better for you. So anyway, you kind of get the idea. So this one has um, this beautiful pendant at the bottom. 
It's a three layer and then it's just got little um, white study. I don't know if you guys can see that. So that's, and again, it's just, it's a triple layer let necklace. Now in the past, something like this, I will probably put this up for $25 because it's a three layer necklace. Um, my single layer necklaces, I'm probably going to bring down to like maybe eighteen twenty, And the simpler pieces, I'll probably put down at 15 Like I have some velvet chokers that are cute, but very, very simple pieces. I've got those at 15 I'm not going to list those at 20 25 anymore because I think that's too much. I think 15 is a nice, a nice one. And those chokers only cost you like $0.80 cents to purchase. So there's that. Um... Ooh, okay, here's some earrings. Now, the earrings all do come with studded backs. Can you guys see that? It's a pearl up top and a pearl on the bottom, and it does have the um, earlobe closure pieces in there. So that's one. I'm not going to open that right now because it's pretty easy to see what that is. Um, this one is a long piece, again. It's just kind of hanging. It's kind of hard to tell with this one because of the way it's hanging. Let me see if I can kind of loosen it up a little bit for you. So this one's kind of hard to see. This one is, I think, a triple layer again. Um, it's got a really pretty, just kind of like a clear pearl stone there. Um, this one's just like probably like a basic gold triple necklace with um, the different dangles. And then it has, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's got some cute little white, just little pearl pieces you know this is these aren't expensive pieces so it's just a cute little thing okay all right now i did get a couple things that had multiple rings in it and this is one of them i'm going to open this up and just kind of show you some of the rings that came in this package um what i might do is get one of those little finger ring displays because I do have people asking me, <clears throat> excuse me, what, <coughs> excuse me, what size the rings are. So this is just a simple ring. So I'll probably put this up for like maybe ten dollars. A pretty purple ring. I don't know if you can see that very well. There you go. So simple things, but this is just a big bad cluster of rings. Again, not fancy. Just fun wear for people who want to have just a simple, pretty jewelry that doesn't cost a lot. This has elephants on it. I don't know if you can see that. Really cute elephants on it. I tried, like I said, I tried to get a little variety of things. Um, and there's just a bunch in here. Here's one that... It has, this is kind of a, like a different piece. It's a ring, it's just got a little um, rock gem and thing in it. Very pretty. This one is just a floral piece. Again, a simple piece for anybody to wear. Can you guys see that? Hope you guys can see that okay. I apologize if it's kind of blurry. Um, anyway, so that's some of those. I don't want to pull again too many out. Um, because there are a few of these in here. How many It doesn't say how many pieces this was, but there's a few in here. So I don't want to take up, again, too much time going through all of those. Let me just put this back. And let's take a look and see what other little things we have in here. Um, okay, here is... This one is cute. Got a couple different things in this particular bag. They kind of break them down into smaller bags and then put one or two pieces in those bags. Okay, I thought these were really cute. These are, they're little dangly um, cowboy boot earrings. They're pink. I thought those were cute. So yeah, I'll probably put those up for like maybe $15, $18. This was, Earrings. I think these were earrings also. Um, it's nice because this is a resealable bag, so very easy to... Yeah, so these were um, some gold earrings. Just a little different detail for somebody else who kind of likes the bigger, shinier gold things. And everything does come with backings, so you don't have to buy the earring backings. They're already included, which is so great. 
Okay, so there's that. And then um, let me open this up. I got some brooches. Um, let me show you a few of these. I've been watching some whatnot auctions. Some gals are doing great with brooches. Again, these they're just cute, simple little pieces. Probably put them up for $10, $15. This one's really cute. I thought this was so pretty. It's a beautiful butterfly piece. Oh, and this one was really pretty too. I just thought this was just so pretty. It's a purple with just stones, just simple stone studs, just little rhinestones. So there's that. Um, so there's a few of those. And let's see what else other kind of things we got. There's that. Some more rings. Okay, these are some earrings that I got. I believe these are earrings. Oh, let me open this up for you. I'm wondering how y'all are doing lately. We've had some crazy kind of wind, and I feel so bad for what's going on in Florida, y'all. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's just, I haven't looked at pictures because I'm almost afraid to. I don't have, we don't have cable here. We don't watch the news. And it's just been just terrible. Some of the things I'm hearing, even on whatnot auctions and people talking in town here locally and just what's going on over there. It's just so sad. I'm saying prayers for, okay, so um, so these are just really cute. Again, let's see if I can hold this still. Just again, something cute and simple. Somebody's wearing a really bright, colorful shirt and they want just a little pizzazz to go with it. Again, they come with backings. Um, so kind of back to Florida. It's just so sad what's going on over there. My heart goes out to them and I'm praying for them because that's just so much destruction. It's just so sad. Again, I haven't been watching the news. I, I haven't even looked it up online to look at pictures. First of all, I've been just so busy. And second of all, sometimes it's hard to see those pictures. Um, but man, I've, just, I've been thinking about all those people down there. Okay, so here's another pack of multiple uh, rings. Now these... Um, I have a little bit more variety to them. And then here is, let me open this one up. This is just a cute little pair of stud earrings that I got. Just some earlobe earrings. Sometimes it's hard to tell where the plastic actually opens because it all blends together because it's clear. And I apologize for all the crinkling. I hope that's not too hard on your ears. These are just really cute heart earrings that have kind of like, looks like kind of like a floral detail on them. Um, just super cute and sweet. Something simple. Even for like teenage girls or little girls. Okay, these are fun. Again, try to, I'm going to bring it down a little bit lower so it's not crinkling quite so much in your ear. Okay, so these are really kind of fun. These were seashell. See if I can just kind of there you go. These were seashell earrings with animal print, and they have this like that little pearl up top. Just a cute, fun thing if you're wearing a black or brown outfit, or even a cream colored outfit. You want a little pizzazz. I just thought that was fun. So there's that. Let's put all these extra little bags because we don't need them. Okay, what else? Again, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. Okay, um, this is. I haven't gone through all of these, and I don't know that I will, because it would take a few more minutes. We're already at 20 minutes, and I, I do like to try and keep the videos shorter, because... Oh, right there. I'm trying to find the opening. It was just right there in front of my hand. Okay, so this, again, is just kind of a fun piece. I don't know if y'all can see that in there. It's got a beautiful, just stone piece and then it's got this just a simple dangly it is a triple layer of gold necklace just a lot of fun to wear with a beautiful purple top or cream color top or whatever just to add a little fun accent and i wanted to get some new stuff i haven't ordered um, jewelry in months but because the holidays are just around the corner i wanted to have some fresh pieces 
Um, so anyway, um, oh, these are cute. You guys will like these. I'm going to show you maybe one or two more, and then I'll let you go. So these are so cute. I'm going to actually get it. I can open the bag, so I'm going to open these up. I'm just going to show you one of them. This is just really sweet. I'm trying to be careful with them. Oh, it looks like he's got, it may have gotten bent a little bit. Darn it. Maybe, or maybe that's just the way it is. Okay, so there's those. Just really cute. And I'm not sure. Yep, yeah, this one got bent a little bit, so I may have to try and fix this. I'll have to deal with that later. The, the, the piece on the back got bent a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can fix that and still sell it without it being an issue. If it's not still sellable, um, I might even just hold on to those myself. It's just the back, you know, the back piece that goes into your ear. It's just bent down just a little bit. So I won't mind wearing some because it just kind of makes it dangle down just a smidgen. I wouldn't mind wearing those. That wouldn't bother me one bit. So I may just hold on to those if I can't fix them. Super cute. Okay, y'all. I do have more pieces here, but again, we are past 20 minutes, and I do not want to take up too much of your time. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video, probably the next day or two. I do have another video backed up as well. I posted one yesterday, so I do have more content coming. I did let y'all know yesterday in my prelim on my video for yesterday that we had been sick. We're doing so much better. Back to kind of normal. However, next week is going to be a little bit slow also because I mentioned yesterday in our video, our daughter is in, um, is going to be visiting. She's going to be here Sunday with her husband and our two grandkids, two of our grandkids. She just had a baby like just over a month ago. We haven't seen him yet. And we haven't seen Abigail since our trip to go see our daughter getting married. They're going to be here for a few days. Um, and our local kids will be here visiting as well. We're having a nice big dinner with everybody. So we may be taking a little bit of a break from everything for just a couple days because they're only here for three or four days. And we're going to soak up every little minute with them. We possibly can. Family is just so important to us. And we're really close to our kids. And um, I just want to soak up every minute I can. So if I don't post three videos next week, I may only get one or two up or I may only get one. Who knows? Either way, that is where we are. And we will be back to full... Um, Full capacity the following, um, probably that following weekend. Um, so I hope you all are having a great weekend and a great beginning of your week. And guys, we'll see you in the next one.